have new information from police investigators and school officials about what families should know as they continue their work in search of who sent this threatening message. Now, earlier today, police say they have spoken with Vermont State Police. Right now, they are working with the FBI to find out who sent the message, naming specific teachers and students to harm. Now, that message mentions the reason for the threat was the school district's decision to replace the rebel mascot name. And high schoolers were dismissed at 2 p.m. and bussed home, as you mentioned. And in a news conference shortly after those students were dismissed, school and community officials joined police to explain what they know and what they're still working to find out. We know that this is a very emotionally uh, charged time and uh, we're working as hard as we possibly can to get to the bottom of it. It is rare in events like this that somebody doesn't know something. Um, and that's really how uh, many police investigations play out is that we follow tips, we follow leads. Uh, we certainly have some now that we're following. But police say they still need your help. They're asking parents to talk with their kids and for students to take a close look at their social media if they know every, anything at all. Even if it seems like small information to pass that on to police, it may help in the investigation. And again, school is canceled for all schools here in South Burlington tomorrow. We're live in South Burlington tonight. Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News. In addition to calling police, there are other resources for those with information that could help authorities in their investigation. Take a look at your screen. Police urge anyone with helpful information to contact officials through one of these avenues. And again, you can also always call South Burlington Police.